Good day, learners! Today, we're gonna talk about ohmic and non-ohmic materials. Let's first talk about resistance and resistors. Every circuit has some source of resistance, like the wire, the load, or sometimes even the EMF source. Resistance is a measure of how difficult it is for current to pass through a conductor, and ohm is the SI unit of resistance. Resistance is defined by Ohm's law, which is formulated by George Ohm. It states that the current through a conductor between two points is directly proportional to the voltage across the two points. There are two different types of resistors. First, the ohmic resistor, where the resistance of a resistor is static and it follows Ohm's law for voltages across it. On the other hand, a non-ohmic resistor has a resistance that differentiates. This means it doesn't follow Ohm's law and changes resistance with different voltage going across it. To further understand what this means, let us have an experiment. For our experiment, we will use a breadboard, multimeter, alligator wire, battery, resistor, bulb, wire, and tape. Let's start. First, let us test whether a 1K ohm resistor is ohmic or non-ohmic. Let's start off for the wrong battery. Now we add another battery. Let's try to make it three. Yes, another one. It's five batteries now. I'm trying to achieve a 9 voltage. Let us use a bigger battery. Now let us test whether a 22 ohm resistor is ohmic or non ohmic. Let's start off with one battery. Now we add another battery. Let's try to make it three.
yes, another one. It's five batteries now. Let us use a bigger battery. Now how about the light bulb? Is it ohmic or non-ohmic? We start off by using two batteries with 1.5 voltage each. Because the light bulb that we will use has a 2.5 voltage. Now to increase the voltage, let's add another battery. And lastly, we add another one. After completing the experiment, here are the results from the voltage current graph. Here it can be observed that as the voltage increases by increasing the number of batteries, the current increased in a constant increment. We can describe the graph as linear and therefore the resistor is an ohmic material that obeys Ohm's law. Here we can see that the trend of the graph is non-linear and shows that the current is not constant. While doing the experiment, the heating of the light bulb was also observed, thus increasing the resistance. Because one nature of a non-ohmic material is the increase in its temperature as voltage increases. Therefore, the bulb is a non-ohmic material that does not obey Ohm's law.